problem with Bloomingdale's is first, by the time you try something on, you got to go past the security. Nice stores like Bergdorf and Saks don't wire this. They trust their customers. I mean, you, any thief can still steal something, but it's impossible, first of all, to, 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 get, to get all the wiring off. Then you got to find the salesperson. Then I actually found some clothing I liked, and I waited in the fitting room 25 minutes, and I finally gave up. First, it was a linen outfit. The pants were $190. The shirt was $120. $310. It was $60 worth of clothing, but I loved it. I might have bought it. It was an impulse item. 25 minutes, still nobody to take care of the fitting. So Blo Bloomingdale's, no wonder it's in trouble. Bad management, incompetence, and that's why this is a second-rate store. We had a wonderful tour of Bloomingdale's. We just saw their friendly welcomers. The greeters are directly from Iran. The Ayatollah's troop of tact. They actually think we need permission to videotape in there. They don't know we're a newspaper, we're a journalistic program, and we have a First Amendment. They think we need permission. They're full of shit. We would uh, love to tell you that if I owned Bloomingdale's, I'd be just as paranoid, too, and I would not want video cameras playing. It's the morons of the world of retailing. Traub and the other retards of Bloomingdale's, I hope they're all fired. I hope that they don't have uh, uh, wonderful parachutes because these are second-rate people in a fourth-rate store selling 10th-rate merchandise at high, outrageous, exorbitant markups. It's Al Goldstein here at my least favorite store, Bloomingdale's. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.